listen to the recitation first with mishari rashid bismillahir rahmanir rahim رحمانسس <laughs> It's Qassa Yaqissu, it's narration, story. So it has story about Musa al-Islam. And we have seen Musa al-Islam story has been mentioned many times in the Quran. And most important thing is in every Jews, Musa al-Islam has been mentioned. So a total of 124 times it was mentioned so musa al-islam his story was mentioned here but every time there is not repetition there is a different aspect mentioned in a different way and here we'll see how the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows how umm musa and Uh, his sister all those things are mentioned in this inshallah we'll see in the detail first we'll see word to word and also the detail so here when we talk about musa al-islam his life was in two parts like first how he spent life with fir'aun and the next life with the bani israel and he is from ulul azam so here we'll see the um, story in detail inshallah let's begin bismillahir rahmanir rahim ta sin mim ta sin mim this is huruf muqattar so we don't know the meaning but this is huruf muqattar allah knows the meaning تلك آیت الكتاب المبین تلك that آیت آیا versus الكتاب the book المبین one clear manifest 
here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that ayatul ayah this verses of kitab which book it is Quran so in Quran it's clear mubin is from bayan ba ya noon it has two meanings which is clear in itself also which it clarifies so it means that Quran in itself all the hukum ahkamat are clear in itself you know there is no ambiguity in it it's straightforward like when some hukum is there when some amar is there order is there right away you understand it it's there is no confusion about it and when it clarifies you know when you have some kind of doubt or something uh, it's going to clarify that also zalikal kitabu la raiba fi there is no doubt it's clear and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed it so in following aya natlu alayka natlu it's from tilawa ta lam waw tilawa is like you know reciting to oneself and also reciting for the others like you know personal recitation also when you recite it for others like daily when we read quran for ourselves and also when we teach so it means that one has to read for ourselves and also to teach others so natlu is from tilawa and because of noon has fatha on it it means we recite in sequence alayka upon you all so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying we recite upon you all min from nabai special news naba is special news uh, noon ba hamza uh, it, it ha- such a news which has certainty musa we have uh, seen this word in surah naba already we have seen surah naba last time i did it musa musa alayhi salam wa fir'aun and fir'aun bil haqqi with the haq truth what does it mean by here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying min naba e musa wa fir'aun means in surah qasas in qissa the narration story allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying this story about musa alayhi salam and fir'aun bil haq with the truth it has reality there is no doubt or it's not about fantasy or anything this is the fact it it happened li qaumin for a nation or people here giving the reason for it li qaumin for a nation lam with the kasra on it you minun they believe are the believers so this story is truth for whom for a nation you minun who have faith who are the believers when we listen to the story we look at for the writer and here who is the writer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no we know that it's a truth it's a fact there is no doubt about it in in the following aya inna fir'auna inna indeed fir'auna fir'aun ala ala is from ulu ain lam waw ala ya'lu is highest point pinnacle uh, to become highest and the opposite is sufla the lowest here verb has been used ala to become great high excel physically like tall or something here like in status or wealth or authority to overwhelm the other fil ardi in the earth wa and ja'ala he made ahlaha its people this word we use many times ahl is for people as well as for nation as well as for family but here for the nation and the people so inna firona ala fil ardi wa ja'ala ahlaha in fact that firon he elevated himself in the land like he thinks himself great you know in status it's talking about status shia an is group sects 
so in um, shia in group sha'a yaishu to spread gain strength so here here shia and is a group so in groups in sex he divided the people in sex yastadifu yastadifu is from da'if dawad ain fa da'if means weak and usually we use this word for all person in urdu but this da'if it actually means weak so yes that if he seeks to weaken why he seeks to weaken because of sin uh, it comes the meaning of seeks taifatan a group here a, a particular sect particular group he tries to make them weak so here he is trying to make them weak min hum among them yuzabihu he slaughters zabaha yuzabihu zabiha the same word has been used for the slaughtering uh, so here is you know he is slaughtering abnaahum their sons it's in plural form so he is slaughtering sons wa yastahyi it's from hayya hayya he lets to live keep alive nisa ahum their women so he kills he massacre uh, boys kill the sons but he keep alive women innahu indeed he kana he was min from al mufsidin those who cause corruption so it means that he is causing corruption how he is causing corruption first of all in the aya it's a fact that firon elevated himself in status he think he is alu he is extravagant he 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 think himself like a god in the land and he divided its residents into groups one of which group he oppressed you know uh, he is trying to oppress them bani israel and putting their sons to death and sparing only their females indeed he was one of the mischief makers so he was a mufsidin so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying he is causing a corruption how come he is causing a corruption killing a person is not a good thing when you kill someone you oppress someone you are like you know creating fazadul fil ard and uh, he was why he was doing this what was the reason behind it why he was killing it because uh, uh, many years before he saw a dream and in that dream he saw uh, a light has been coming to uh, from Pal- from palestine to egypt and he thought all the qittis somebody will come and you know kill him because he as the like you know they believe in um, all those uh, false things you know uh, that time they uh, he asked fortune tellers like every time they will tell their dreams and then fortune teller he says okay so and so thing will happen because that time uh, magic was on the peak and people used to um, ask such kind of things you might have seen this thing in surah baqara also when they want to see whether they think they have to do or not they fly a bird and when bird uh, goes right way they will do that work if bird goes left they won't do it so same way they have that thing so they ask fortune tellers and he said oh that's going to be from qipti and you know you have to be careful so he thought better i kill all those who are from bani israel so that i can save myself this was the plan going on in uh, firaun's mind but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is a great planner we can't even imagine what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has planned so in the following aya we will see how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save musa alayhi salam in aya number 5 
and we wanted wish and that numannu numanna we favor bestowed your gracious numanna is from man man is like you know favoring someone and and this word has been used for re- reminding someone a favor like a big favor a great favor so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying wa nuridu an namunna we bestowed favor allah upon allazina those who is to the ifu they were sought to be weakened or oppressed it's the same root word from the if fi in al ardi the land vanaj alhum we make them is from jaala jim ain lam aima leaders vanaj alhum we make them so indeed he was a mischief maker but allah subhanahu wa taala wanted to favor those who were oppressed in the land so it means that who uh, the firon to whom he was oppressing allah subhanahu wa taala going to favor them namunna is for the bani israels because you see in the following aya allazina istud ifu it's for the people who are oppressed fil ardi manajalahum we make them aima aima is leaders it's from hamza mim mim it's it's the plural of imam imam is the singular aima is the leaders so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to make naja naja alahum ja it's from jala he wants to make them leaders to to bani israel in what way in deen as well as in dunya like leadership in um, following the deen and also in dunya he want to give that status wa naja alahum and he made al warisin warisin is from waw ra sa waris waris is inherit heirs he want to make them heirs he became malik means he want to give them inheritance to them uh, so that they can take uh, deen forward that's what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has planned and he was saying in this ayah number 5 that he wants to make them heirs who bani israel and in ayah number 6 banu makke banu makkinna and we give power and influence established them here numakin is from meem kaf nun makana is from tamkin makan you know place tamkin to give someone a makan to give someone a place figuratively someone authority here talking about authority or firmness or stability like stability like allah subhanahu wa taala want to establish them firmly means giving great position here one numakinna is giving power authority okay lahum to them to whom uh, he, here we are talking about about bani israel allah subhanahu wa taala is saying he going to give power to them and establish them firmly so that they have great position in this world and for the deen and dunya fil ardi in the land wa nuriya we show firaun firaun and wa haman and haman here firaun everybody knows haman he is also working with firaun he uh, he also has a uh, powerful position he was a minister there so here allah subhanahu wa taala mentioned both of them wa junud huma and their troops armies because every time they talk about their junud their army and um, so here saying their army their troops men whom from them ma whatever kanu they were yahzarun they cautiously fear so here allah subhanahu wa taala going to establish bani israel so that they get you know scared so he going to give them such a position show them like because they are killing kids like small children it's not a easy thing like you know when newborn baby is there and you are killing that baby how it's going to be so they don't know what what bani israel is going through here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying ya sarun fear dread you know they should have that fear in their 
heart you know how the bani israel is going through so inshallah we'll see following aya how it's going to be so here till now we have seen from aya number 1 to 6 like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right from the beginning he is saying this is the book which is a fact it ha- it, ch- it it is clear in itself and also it clarifies natlu alayka and it's um, like story of firaun and musa alislam is bil haqqi li qaumin yu'minun for the people who believe but here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in ayah number 4 that he is oppressing the bani israels and he is killing not only killing massacre like you know killing brutally um like you can't even imagine how they are killing it and you know small babies it's easy like one can know they have small baby when you stand somebody's house near the somebody's house you can hear babies crying or yelling so that way you know and he was a mufsi doon he was creating the corruption but uh, in ayah number 5 he say allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we gonna give favor like man and also the people who are oppressed we going to make them a imma and we going to give makan we going to give the power and establish them firmly in the earth and haman and firon they you know their armies they will get cautiously cautiously feared they will you know they will have that fear in their mind like they can't do it so in this we learn that if somebody is oppressing you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there He, he will protect you no matter what now you think that okay they are doing this uh, who, who is going to save me no allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there allah is going to save you he he is there So inshallah we'll end here so jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakallah khair